Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing quite a different video for me. I'm going to be attempting some artist trading coins. Currently I'm on some kind of like mixed media journey. <laughs> so I found a few mixed media products and I'm just loving them so much that I'm getting really addicted to this whole kind of mixed media process. So um, the idea for the trading coins I've seen them about for a long time, haven't thought really about doing them. And then I was watching Natalie Bauer's channel. I'm going to link her channel down below. Um, you should go check it out. She does really great stuff, similar-ish content to me, but she's more relaxed than I am. <laughs> she's got a really nice, chilled, calming vibe. And she's always talking about, um, you know, like finding hope. And she has lots of prompts and lots of journaling prompts. And um, yeah, lots of, uh, what are they called? Traveller's Notebook pages and stuff like that. So I'm going to link her channel down below and her trading card video. If you are interested in this and you want to see some more, then go check her out. So uh, yeah, I think that these coins are supposed to be two and a half inches round, but I happen to just have these. So when I saw um, Natalie's video, I thought, oh, I've got some like wooden discs. <laughs> as you do because we all collect such random stuff um but these discs are only one and a half inches but i thought you know what i don't really care because i'm you know i'm probably not going to trade these although that is the purpose of them i suppose um what i was actually just going to do was use it as an excuse to do some mixed media and then probably use them on scrapbook layouts so not an issue to me i'm going to start with some clear gesso on the background paper this paper is just some scrap white cardstock um, and then these are what have been driving my mixed media frenzy, which are the Lindy's Magical. And I bought these in Drop Dead Diva, which I got off Amazon. So if you're in the UK, I don't know where you could buy these. If you have small scrapbook stores locally, you might be able to get them, but I couldn't find them in Hobbycraft or anywhere like that. Um, but these are awesome. So it's got Sassy Sapphire, Prima Donna Purple, Drop Dead Gorgeous Green, no High Maintenance Magenta and Blingy Blonde. And I am just a really big fan of bright colors, splattery things. Yeah, I'm just really, really enjoying it. I've got some distress sprays as well that I'm going to use to create some splatters. And I'm thinking about adding some texture paste as well because the key to these coins does appear to be layering. Um, and I'm gonna use this opaque matte texture paste by Ranger and um, a Tim Holtz, what's this called, stencil. <laughs> Um, and it's really cool. I love this stencil a lot. You can see I've used it a lot for rainbowy things. And I swear I have cleaned this, but yeah, it doesn't really look like it, does it? Hopefully. Oh, it's not going to matter to me if I get a bit of rainbow on anything. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to roll the tape. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,